Here we go, folks. What's wrong with you? Here we go. Hey, yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your scientist, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be doing five crazy egg experiments. Bruh! Why did you do that? This is the first experiment. See what happens if you drop an egg. How did you not know what was gonna happen when you drop an egg? It's an egg. What? It's an egg. Egg sh they're known for being like, not... I was pretty sure what would happen, but you know, you gotta always test your hypotheses. Science, bro. It science. is It is science. You're stressing me out. Let's move on. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Before we move on, Dustin, what if I told you I could show you how to drop an egg and instead of it breaking, it bounces. What? Exactly. Not yet though. First, we've got a couple other experiments we're gonna show you guys, and then we're gonna show you the grand finale at the end. But for our first experiment, I think we gotta go outside. All right, guys, so we're outside now, and we're gonna be doing our very first experiment. Are you guys ready? Hey, what's wrong with you? That was the first experiment. What would happen? To see if I, I could dodge an egg. No, just see what happens if I throw an egg at you. Oh my. We can move on to our second experiment. What is wrong with you? All right, for the second experiment. We're not throwing eggs at me. No. Actually, no, we are. But we're gonna catch them. So it's kind of similar, but like, but we're you're gonna, gonna throw it, I'm gonna catch it. Yeah, and then back and what forth. If it breaks? That's the point. We're gonna see how far oh, we can so do try it not to break before it, it okay. breaks. All right. So it's kind of a challenge and an experiment mixed together. And whoever loses, basically, whoever drops the egg or it cracks in their hands, well, gets covered in egg. Gets gets an egg thrown at them. What? Let's just do it. Let's All do right, this. let's go. Boring. Not fair. <laughs> he threw it twice. You said high, it was the punt drill. It. it was the punt drill. Uh. <laughs> you know what? Considering it exploded in your hands, I feel like I don't have to throw another egg no, at you. You don't. <laughs> we go back inside. Yes. All right, guys. Now that we're inside, we're gonna do something a little different. Normally, we do experiments, challenges. This time, we actually got a life hack for you. So this is the classic egg life hack. If you haven't seen this before, basically, if you ever need to take a yolk and separate it from the egg white, this is all you gotta do. So first, you just crack your egg. Oh my God. Crack your egg, just like so. Now you're gonna take a bottle, squeeze the bottle, push as much of the air out as you can, place it on top of the yolk, and then let go. Oh, no, no, right that here. stays intact. Boom! Oh my God. Clean, look at that. Wow. Look at that. In fact, the, the plate looks like an egg on its own. It kind of does, yeah, yeah, especially if you put it right there. It's hmm. kind of nice. You know, if you're healthy, you want to get your egg whites only, or you want to do some like crazy bacon stuff with egg yolk. Holiday sauce. You're good to go. All right, guys, for the next experiment, we're going to keep it bottle themed. What we're going to do is take an egg and make it go from here into the bottle without touching it. All right, guys, so the first thing we need to do is boil some water. So we'll be right back. All right, so we're just going to cover this, bring it to a boil, and then add our eggs. We will be right back. A few moments later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our water is come to a boil, so we're gonna add two eggs. We've got one small egg, we've got one extra large egg. I don't, this might be a medium or a regular, anyways, one smaller and one larger egg. That's one and two. So we've got our two eggs in there. We're gonna leave them for five minutes. And in the meantime, we're gonna do some other experiments. All right, guys, while our egg is boiling over there, we're gonna do a classic, it's a scientist experiment. If you guys have seen my do not microwave video, you've seen this one before, but it's just so epic, we gotta do it again. So basically, all you gotta do, take an egg, put it in the microwave, Turn the microwave on for about a minute. Sit back, relax. Well, don't relax, because it's, it's gonna be exciting. And enjoy the show. You put it in a cup? No. Your microwave's gonna be I know. All right, guys, it's been five minutes, so we're gonna take our eggs off. All right, guys, so we're gonna take our eggs out. We're gonna put them in some cold water to make sure they cool down faster. You know, you can bring that closer. Yeah, can you do that for me? Because I can't reach over with my other yeah, hand. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, friendship goals. All right, there's one and two. See, as you guys can see right there, I was a surgeon as well. It's your doctor because you saw that surgical precision. But now let's take a look at our microwave experiment that we just did. Take a look. So what, what? What All right, guys. As you no, all right, guys. We want to see it. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, warning: your mom is not gonna be happy with you after this experiment. So, probably just don't do this one. You saw it here. It creates a massive explosion, and it actually cooks the egg. The egg is all cooked, but it's exploded everywhere. So, we're we're gonna have to clean that up. 
a few moments later. All right guys, so I'm done cleaning the microwave. Dustin's done peeling our five minute eggs. So what we're gonna do is drop a big pile of matches in here. We're gonna light the matches. That should suck all of the oxygen out of this and then we're gonna put this on top and it's just, you'll see what happens. Ready? Here we go, folks. Okay, turn it. Put the egg on top. Oh! Wow. That was fast. <laughs> That was way faster than normal. I think our flame was so big that it made it <clears throat> so quick that it exploded. Look at that. Wow. So basically what happened right there is like I mentioned, the fire sucked all of the oxygen in. We put the egg on top and that put the fire out because there was no more oxygen in there. But the air pressure sucked the egg in and uh, because it was so much flame, it actually was too violent. Normally you can do this and the egg will stay intact, but in this case it exploded. But we do things extreme. Exactly, why have something not explode when you can <clears throat> have it explode? All right, guys, we're gonna try this one more time with the larger egg and see if it still works. So, same process, let's do it. All right, here we go, folks. So fast. It's so fast. All right, guys, so you may have seen that exact experiment before, but you've probably not seen it that fast and you've probably not seen it that effective. <laughs> Typically, the way people do it is they take one mash, they drop it in, and they use a hard-boiled egg. But what we did is we made a five-minute egg, which is actually a little bit softer, and we decided to put five matches. Because why have a solid egg in the bottom when you could have an exploded egg in the bottom? But let's move on to our next experiment. All right, guys, I know I said we were gonna move on to our next experiment, but... It's your sniper time. I said it before you. Why, why uh, you gotta beat me to the punch? Because I just, I know what's gonna happen. We're gonna go I'm outside I'm excited and for it. Eggs, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna take a break from the experiments. We're gonna go get our buddy Itzy Sniper and do some sniping. Let's go outside. All right, guys, we're outside now. We've got our eggs set up. We've got our GoPro for the slow-mo. And it's time for Itzy Sniper to make his appearance. Nice. All right, Dustin. Yep. Do the honor. Oh yeah. All right, Dustin, you're up. Let's see what you got. Bye. <laughs> One shot. Let's go. That was a nice explosion. Yeah, I don't even know where the egg went. I think it literally just exploded uh -oh. everywhere. All right, guys, I think it's safe to say in the experiment of paintball versus egg, paintball won. Now it's time for the grand finale, guys, so let's head back inside. All right guys, we're back inside and it is now time for the moment you've all been waiting for where I show you how to turn it. Where I show you how to turn a regular egg into a bouncy ball. So first, we've gotta rewind a couple days and show you guys what we did. All right guys, it's three days ago, Sean, and we are going to set up our vinegar portion of this experiment. So we've got 12 mason jars here. We're gonna fill all of them up with vinegar, and then we're gonna put all of our eggs into these. Some of them we're gonna put multiple eggs, some of them we're gonna put food coloring, and then in three days or in three seconds for you guys, we're gonna see what happens. So first things first, let's fill these up. Oh my God, that smells terrible. That does smell terrible. <laughs> all right, we've got all of our mason jars filled. Next thing we're gonna do is add our eggs. All right, so we got 18 eggs here. We're gonna put one egg in most of the jars and then two of the jars, we're gonna put multiple eggs. All right, first egg, bam. All right, so we've got one egg in all of these. We've got four in this one, two in this one, and three in this one. So we'll see how they all react. We also have different amounts of vinegar in some of these, so we'll see how that affects everything. But the last thing we gotta do is put some food coloring in some of these mason jars. So we've got four neon colors here, so hopefully we can make ourselves some bright egg bouncy balls. First one we're gonna do over here is the purple. Should I put a lot? I would put a lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. A few moments later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all of our eggs and vinegar are ready. We're gonna put caps on all of these and then we'll see you guys in what will be three days for us, but three seconds for you. All right, guys, so now it's been two days since we did that. Hopefully it's been long enough. Let's take a look at all our eggs. All right, guys, so we stored all of our eggs in here. Let's take some of these out. Look at what we've got. It looks so fat. It is, like they're inflated, inflated as so hell. much. They're filled with bubbles. Holy, okay, let's set all these down and take a look. 
two hours later. All right guys, as you can see here, we've got all 12 of our containers. Some of them got one egg, some of them got more or less vinegar, some of them have three, four, two eggs, and of course we've got my personal favorites over here, the colored eggs. So we're gonna take a look at all of these and see what we've got on our hands. Oh my God. Holy dude, it's so big. It's so big. Oh my God, it feels insane. I can't even get it out. All right guys, these are so slippery, we can't even get them out, so we're just gonna pour all of the vinegar out of the jar. Look at that. Oh! Bro, bro, bro. That's insane. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wash this off. That's actually loud. Yo, oh. look, look, look inside, it's almost see-through. You can yeah, see yeah. the uh, yolk still like moving around Spinning. on the inside. I wish you guys could feel this. It feels so cool. Here, hold it, Dustin. Look at that. Wow, it just feels like you have like a thick rubber balloon. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna put this over here for now and we're gonna start opening some of our other ones. All right guys, we took another one out. It's flawless, just like the other one. But what I wanna know is how are the ones where we put multiple eggs gonna fare? So we've got our two eggs right here. We're gonna use the same technique. All right, there's one. Feels good. Rinse that bad boy off. Bro, these two are both solid. There's a little bit more shell left on this one. You can see right here. It's just a little bit of residual shell on it, but pretty much flawless. This one is perfect. So two still works. All right, let's try three. Oh, okay. All right, guys, so as you can see here, there is some shell still left on. There's parts that are perfect, but the other ones were pretty much completely scraped off. We can still scrape off all of the shell here, but not quite as perfect as the other ones. But as you guys can see here, once we scrape the shell off, it's just as good as the other ones. All right, so this is our jar with four eggs, and as you can see here, there's been a little bit of pressure created because the tin part of this is actually pushed up. So, so it might explode? It might explode, a bunch of eggs. Let's see, oh, it's a lot harder to twist off. Ugh, bro, I can't get this off. Let me try. All right, Dustin, give it a shot, bro. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got inside here. Okay, we have one that is actually broken. So this will be interesting. Let's move over here. So this egg either broke when we put it in or broke while it was in. Oh, look at that. Oh. So this is the uh, the shell after it's been sitting in vinegar for two days. You can still see that there's shell on it, but it's a lot softer now. It's pretty disgusting. Ew, look at my hands. Let's pour this out. Oh. All right, so we've got our three eggs. Again, as you can see, not as effective in getting rid of the shell as the other ones when it was just a solo, but you can still scrape it off just as easy and get yourself a nice bouncy rubber egg. So we're gonna finish scraping these ones off. We'll add them to our pile and then we're gonna take a look at our colored eggs. All right guys, we're gonna leave these three in the vinegar for an extra day, depending on how everything else works. I just wanna have a backup plan that we can try tomorrow in case things don't go as planned. But the moment we've all been waiting for, let's take a look at our colored eggs. What color should we start with those? Mm, let's go dark color. Let's go purple. Purple. All right. Whoa! That was a loud pop. Pour this liquid out. Here. Yeah. Guys, take a look at this. That's the purpliest purple egg I've that ever seen. That is one purple looking egg. Let's just wash this off real quick. Nice. As you can see, the purple ain't going nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. That's amazing. This actually looks like a bouncy ball. Looks like a thousand year old like duck oval. egg. Oh, yeah. Those yeah, are gross. Yeah. I want to vomit even thinking you about that. Eat it? And hell no. Guys, smash the like button if you want Dustin to try this egg. How many likes? 20,000. If we get 20,000 likes at the beginning of the next video, Dustin's going to taste this egg. All right, I'm done. All right, guys. Next up, we've got the green. Oh, look at that. The green's the nicest so far. That is a vibe. Oh my God, these worked so well. Add that to our collection. We're gonna pop these two open as well. Oh, the red is beautiful. Yo, yo, yo. I'm aged. All right, blue, yo, yo. It's the best idea I've ever had in my life. Look at these. How dope is that? Okay, we're gonna add all of these to our pile over here. Look at all these bouncy eggs we got, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now for the moment of truth. Will it bounce? It feels like a bouncy ball. It looks like a bouncy ball, but it needs to bounce. We're gonna start small and work our way up and see how high we can go before it breaks. Ready? Hey. Ooh, okay, so you guys can see the little bounce. Next up, we're gonna go a little bit higher. We're about, you know, maybe six inches off the ground now. Three, two, one. Still alive, all right, we're moving up, we're moving up. Come on, baby, don't break on me. Don't break on me. Nice. We did it, these are legit. That, that was the test. 
Anything above that is gravy. You could not drop an egg normally from that height. Here we go. Next one. Oh. All right, guys, sometimes you got a yolk on your counter and you need to clean it up. This is where this comes in handy, remember? <laughs> Damn it. All right, to the drop test. Start with the small drop. Nice. All right, they're good. Bigger drop. Oh, oh purple. This one's over. We're going to try this again. Nice. Ah, oh, I leaked out. So close. All right, purples. Oh, my God. See how much more we can do. Oh, nice. Still good. So it's about like a foot up is the is the capacity for how high you can drop these things. Yo, look at this. All right, there you guys go. There's the purple eggshell. Even the uh, the egg white actually turned a little bit purple. All right, we got about four eggs left. We're gonna see if any of these can survive a substantial drop on some grass. We're gonna give them a little bit of extra. We're about three feet up. Here we go. Do you think any of them will survive? Yeah. Comment down below if you guys think any of these will survive. Yes or no? Here we go. No. <laughs> They all died. Da, na, na, na. Maybe they'll cook if it gets hot out. Yeah, that's true. Let's go back in. All right, guys. Well, I was just cleaning up now. I absolutely played myself. I had the blue egg still on here. Didn't notice. Was wiping up. Hit the egg. Hit it's the your egg. merch. Are it's now on sale. All over me. So... I think it's finally time we wash the It's Your Scientist lab coat. But overall, I'm really happy with how everything turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Unfortunately, our purple egg exploded. But don't worry, Dustin is still not safe. If you guys crack 20k likes, I put the red and the green back in their jars. And in the next video, at the beginning of the next video, Dustin is going to eat one of these. And if somehow you guys manage to crack 25k, I'm going to eat the other one with him. I really don't like vinegar. Also, we are gonna hold on to these. We're gonna leave these in here for just an indefinite amount of time. And in some random video in the future, if you guys wanna see me do another egg experiment video, we're gonna see what happens if we leave these here for like two, three, four weeks or something like that. If they get harder, if they bounce more, only one way to find out. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. A huge shout out to Dustin for helping me out. So down below in the description if you haven't be sure to check out some of my other science experiments right here and here as always thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you next time toodles